And that's what he does. But yeah. he's also selling that class. It, it, what is the class? It, the Hustlers it, University? Yeah. What is that? What it's are they like teaching you, people? You, you, to hustle. But what are they teaching? Are they... I, <laughs> To hustle. They can quit at any time they want. It's like I 70 bucks a month, right? then you become a top G. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally... I mean, is that bad? I don't know. I mean, is it is it a con game, or is it is he trying to give them legitimate information? What is he giving them other than what he's already said in v interviews? And, and like, what, how is it a university? Like, what is... He has people... Who and that's where it's a grayer because I aren't there like professors? Hustler Hustlers University. University experience modern wealth creation. <laughs> I haven't looked at this. I didn't know this was even real. Yeah, no, this is what he said. Like uh, a main, so, so many grifters. Main business. Secure wealth. your spot for just forty nine dollars is your last chance to secure a spot or a discounted price. This weird countdown thing is such a. Oh, trap that's on hilarious! The oh like my this, god, it was, it's just recycle. I only have one yeah, hour, yeah, ten sure. minutes, and thirty six seconds to sign up. And that's going to be 147. Jesus, if you don't make enroll now, now, Jamie. You have only right, an right. hour Let's before this class. Enroll. Before this, before this class. Let's enroll. Let's enroll. What do we have to do? Uh, Click on that. Enroll now. Okay. What do we have to do? The real world has launched a completely matrix independent platform where we teach you how to make money in the digital age. How do they teach you how to make money? You just hustle, man. You just hustle. So 600 bucks a year? It's also another thing, like this matrix thing, which he has, which, again, I. I am a firm believer, based on my experience, like, people are out to get you, they're out to get you. He also, if he committed these crimes, he's sort of brilliant, be like, they're coming for me in the next couple of days, because you know they're coming, and then your followers go, aha, he was right. right. It's like a self-fulfilling right. pro. Who knows? Right. But I will say, he goes too far, Like, and yeah, it, you'd think rational people be like, whoa, you're crazy, but there's a lot of... You know, and that's where anything's a slippery slope. He's also a wild dude that lives in the world of kickboxing. And that, that is a wild group of people. I mean, you pay attention to, like, top-flight kickboxers, like the Badr Haris and the... I mean, there's some Melvin Manhoof. There's some wild fucking people in that world. That is a crazy world where there's not a lot of money and you're facing fucking straight-up killers. And, you know, I mean, there, there's all sorts of different personalities in that world, but it's a different kind of human. They're, they're just wild, masculine, very aggressive people, you know, and that's that's part of his shtick. But he, if you want to use the word toxic masculinity, he's he's it. That well, the the bad stuff that he said embodies that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what people are. That's why people are rooting for what he said to be true, because they don't want that. Right. But you're still crazy to root for that because you're not thinking about the victims. That would be you're basically. That, that means a lot of people were hurt. Well, so. it means if it's true, you want them to be punished. Correct. Like, hoping that it's not true when it is true is not good either. No, but... You know no. what I'm saying? Like, if you're hoping that it's true and it's not true, that's horrible because you are hoping for people to have been victimized. I see what you're saying. Yes, right. Yeah. I mean, you should never hope violent crimes are committed. Right. Period. Absolutely. Agreed. Yeah, for sure. But you also hope that he's not accused of these things when it's just because of his bombastic personality totally. and talking shit and getting all this attention, which he clearly has done. You got to wonder how much of it is sat. Like when he talked to Piers Morgan, that was a very interesting conversation because Piers confronted him on all these things and he did a great job of explaining what he does and why he does it. And, and you know, it's like the guy went viral in a way that no one has. And so quickly, yeah. In a while, what were like my twelve-year-old and my fourteen-year-old were asking me about it. Yeah, no, he he was it. Yeah, all over TikTok and all over everything. And and if you just but look that's at some of those little part clips, in a weird way, if your twelve-year-old and fourteen-year-old right. are hearing some of uh, right. the outrageous, like nobody wants. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't even have a TikTok, I think, and he was like the number one guy on TikTok. Crazy. I think they probably banned him. Right, I mean, they banned him from everything. They banned him from Facebook. The yeah. only thing he's still on is Elon, Twitter. Yeah, Elon brought him back. Yeah, which, uh, listen, I agree with. I think you should be able... I, I don't think banning people's the way i think this exchange with greta thurnberg is a perfect example of how to counteract that yeah like she just mocks him and 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 then he gets arrested and she has the fucking tweet of the year making fun of his arrest yeah and a fucking perfect one-liner that's what happens you don't recycle your pizza boxes yeah right I mean, it's no, genius it, it, that's why it's good that someone like that is on social media because you get you get a chance for people to participate in the conversation i agree i i go i go back and forth it's it 
because I am. You su- should go back and forth because you're a thoughtful guy. Yeah, you're because about it's it. like super free speech. Yeah, like take Kanye for example. Mm-hmm. Like, I I'm Jewish. I I hated Kanye beforehand, but I I think he's anti-Semitic. Like the things he's saying bother me. And there's a lot of people in my mind who follow Kanye. They're rabid Kanye fans, and the things he starts saying to me can leak down. What is the the biggest thing that he said? I know I, I know in general. To me, it, it, Hitler wasn't a bad guy. That was crazy. Like I, I eh. what did he say? What was he exactly? He loves Hitler or something like that. He, he was loves with, everybody. Is that he what was he with Alex Jones, yeah. and Alex Jones was trying. He was also to, wearing a mask. Yeah, he was trying to throw him a lifeline. Yeah, Alex Jones was trying to. Throw Alex Jones Kanye. was the voice of reason. Yeah, and he's like, "No, you don't mean Hitler was a good guy." He's like, "No, no, no." I, well, well, that's not what you mean. <laughs> yeah, Hitler's terrible. It, yeah, for Alex to to have to tell him Hitler was terrible is pretty funny. So if, if you're going down that way, I don't know. I it, think he's go, the way he's going down is he's never. I don't think he's experienced anything like. Of course, he's never experienced anything like this, right? Where his everything's taken away from him. I mean, he had to stop construction on his house. He's losing all of his money, all of his sponsorships. Everything's gone. Yep. All of his connections to all these businesses, connections to banks. Everything's gone. It's kind of wild to see. Because we've never seen that before, where a guy is a superstar and a billionaire, and he says some awful shit, and then everything's taken well, away from him. And this may be Kanye's personality, and in a way, he's also, you can listen to him talk many times, be like, he's a genius, he's brilliant, like the things he's saying. What he did, which may be unique, and some could say maybe they respect, he didn't take a step back. He kept saying things, yeah. and he wouldn't apologize. And now you can be like, well, if he didn't think he did anything wrong. But in the end, it came across he's just, to me, very anti-Semitic. I mean, if you're defending Hitler, that's you've gone pretty far. I think he's also mentally ill. Well, he's bipolar. I think he yeah. said that, yeah. Well, I think he said recently he's not bipolar, but he might be autistic. But, I mean, it's self-diagnosis. He's, he was definitely medicated at one point in time.